welcome to Adelaide's makeup tutorial channel. I am so excited because it's finally Halloween this week and it is my favourite holiday because I get to choose a really cool makeup to do. So I've got some cool tutorials coming up for you guys this week and if you've missed any of my Halloween tutorials I've created a playlist on my channel which has all of them in it and there are plenty there for you guys to choose from. So if you need a little inspiration for your Halloween costume this year, head on over to that playlist. I will leave the link for that one in the description box down below. And today I'm going to show you how to do this super simple spiderweb eyeshadow look. And this is a great one that you can add into a Halloween costume if you want to. Or if you don't really want to go crazy with your Halloween look, you can just do this one on its own. And it's still a really effective and obvious Halloween makeup. So I'm going to show you how to do this one now. Okay, so the products that you'll need to do this look today are the following. Your choice of eyeshadow colours. Today I'll be using dark blue, light blue, and a little bit of purple. A black liquid eyeliner. A white liquid eyeliner. A black pencil eyeliner. A black mascara. An eye prime. Some lashes. Some lash glue. And some sticky tape. Okay, first take a piece of sticky tape and apply it underneath your eye on the outer corner slanting upwards slightly. Next, take your eye prime and apply it over your whole eye. I'm just using my finger to do this. Now take your light blue eyeshadow on an eyeshadow brush and apply it over the whole eyelid and do a couple of layers if needed just to make it nice and bright. Using your black liquid liner, apply it the whole way across the top lash line and follow the sticky tape to create a long flick at the end of the eye. Also apply the black eyeliner underneath your lower waterline, joining it up with the top line at the inner corner of the eye, and then create a small flick heading downwards towards your nose on the inner corner of the eye. At this point you can peel off the sticky tape. Then using our black liquid eyeliner once again, we're going to draw lines down the eyelid from the top of the eyelid joining up with the top of the lash line. We're going to draw about five or six of these across the eyelid and you want to space them about one to two centimeters apart. Okay, now the liquid liner that I was using did run out a little bit here, so I've just swapped to another one. And we're going to use it to draw downward curved lines between each of those lines that we've just drawn. And you want to do about three layers of these, so make sure you leave enough room above each of the lines. We're going to do this right until we get to almost the top of the vertical lines, but you do want to leave just the tip of them poking up above the eyelid. Now take your dark blue eyeshadow on a thin brush and apply it underneath each of those curved lines, making sure that there's still some of the light blue showing underneath that. Now take your white liquid eyeliner and apply it just above the curved line, but try to stick to just one corner on each of the lines. This is going to give it the effect that there's a light shining onto it. And if you do get a little bit messy here, don't stress because we're going to go back over with our black eyeliner shortly. Okay, so once you've done all of your white sections, take your black liquid eyeliner once again and go over all of the original black lines. Apply your black pencil eyeliner to your lower waterline. Now take your purple eyeshadow and apply it the whole way along the underneath of the eye from the end of the flick on the outer corner to the end of the flick on the inner corner. Apply the mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Apply some glue to your false eyelash and then apply that on your top lash line and push it into place using a Q-tip. Repeat this process on your second eye and you're done. Okay, and now we have today's completed easy spiderweb Halloween eyeshadow tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know. And if you have any suggestions for a look you'd like to see, leave me a comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already for updates on awesome new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next video and happy Halloween.